guys welcome back to my channel i'm audrey with what's audrey making if you're new here and let me let you know what i'm going to be doing today i have recently been completely into restoration hardware i mean i ordered the catalog i've been stocking their website like everything about them i love except for the prices so, I'm still trying to get the look for a little bit less. Sorry if you can't hear me. My kids are in the back playing video games and they are super into it. But I was in Marshalls and to try to pull off this look, I was looking for vessels because I've been really into their vessels. Restoration Hardware's vessels are amazing. They're very rustic and earthy and just they're amazing so anyway that's the vibe that i'm actually trying to get into for my home decor i'm gonna revamp everything slowly and with purpose so that i don't waste money but i was in marshall's and i found this this vessel it is actually pretty heavy it was only $16.99, which I thought was a really good price for a vessel that makes my muscles hurt. The company that makes this is called Handmade in India. I am not familiar with, oh gosh, I'm not familiar with the company, but if you guys are, go ahead and comment below if you've ever purchased any of their vases from Marshalls or anywhere else. Go ahead and comment below and let me know. But yeah, I thought this was such good quality. Only problem is it is not necessarily the colors that I'm going for. So the color scheme that I'm actually gonna be going for is more like black, whites, grays, woods, concrete, um, you know, dirt. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> just like, really natural um color scheme obviously green for foliage and all of that stuff not necessarily terracotta i think it's beautiful the way it is but i don't think that it will work for my color scheme and so i'm gonna try to go ahead and do one of those little baking soda paint mixtures and just rub it on in i'm trying to get something that looks kind of like this from restoration hardware in the way that you know it looks not to be exact but that's the look I'm going for so you're gonna go on this journey with me we'll see how it turns out and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time I make a video and yeah let's go ahead and get into it I will see you guys in the next video So I started out using a black and gray acrylic paint mixed together. I was a little nervous because I didn't want it to be too dark, but it worked out. Time for the baking soda. So you guys, I was just figuring this out along the way while I was recording. I decided to take one of those um, sponges, like sponge brushes, and I took it off the base of the sponge. So I'm just dabbing the um, black paint in to try to <laughs> figure out what would be a good technique to get this on here. So 
So while looking at my inspiration picture, I noticed that most of the darkness of the vessel was towards the middle. So I just kind of went crazy in the middle and then I started to fade it out towards the top and the bottom um, to kind of get that ombre effect later on. I also went around the opening of the vessel as well as the handle. This time I went back in again with another baking soda and paint mixture, this time using the color Beachcomber Beige. I can't lie guys, at this point I was a little nervous. All of the colors were looking so harsh and I was like, I do not want to mess this up. But you really just have to trust the process because it really came together really well in the end. So here's where things started to make a little bit of a change. It seemed like I was going in a better direction. I started just like splatting the paint all on the black to try to mix it up. Started rubbing it with my hands to try to like blend it in and fade it out. And when I started like picking the paint up with my actual hand and rubbing it in, I got the idea to start using a glove. So. I just used these gloves and I just went crazy. I picked the paint up, I kind of rubbed it in my hands and then I just started splattering it all over the vessel. And really, this is when it really started to make a change. Now I did notice also that while I was doing this, when the paint would dry, it still didn't give all that much texture and I really wanted this vessel to be really textured and give me those restoration hardware vibes. So I went ahead and switched from using the baking soda and I changed over to using this white mortar. Um, I had this mortar left over from when I refinished my fireplace and so I went ahead and used that because I knew it was a lot more gritty and rocky um, and oh my gosh, it was the best decision ever. I was noticing here that things were really starting to come together and the key to it was just to slap on a glove and just start patting the vessel like all over. It's crazy how simple this wound up being when I began. I was being really structured, trying to use the sponge and really all I had to do was just like rub a bunch of mortar and paint in my hand and just start slapping this vessel. <laughs> So it's really turning out good. I just went back and forth between 
that beige and the black and yeah it I, I was really starting to love it right here So again, with looking at my inspiration picture, I noticed that the vessel looked a little bit lighter at the bottom, so I went ahead and grabbed some more paint. Now, this was a paint sample um, of just normal like wall paint that I got from Home Depot, and it worked out in this case, but I wouldn't advise using this over acrylic paint. And the reason is because it got really tacky, really thick, and really hard to use. Um, it's a good thing that I really didn't need it for much aside from the bottom and just some spots here and there. But it was a lot harder to work with um, than using acrylic paint. So I would definitely suggest using acrylic. So here I started just patting the vessel in random spots to try to create some of those natural irregularities that happen with stone. You can also see here what I was talking about with that paint, it just started getting a little gummy. Now here's where I felt this vessel really started getting that authentic aged look. Just like the Restoration Hardware piece. There were like these hints of like clay, I guess you would say, all around the vessel. It kind of just made it look like it's been sitting for a long time. Maybe it was rolled around in like red clay on the ground or maybe it was near something that was resting and it kind of got some rest on the vessel. I don't know, whatever story you want to paint in your head, it's fine with me. <laughs> but it just really gave that authentic old aged vessel kind of look So here I got a paper towel and I was just rubbing down some of those areas where I added that cinnamon color just so it will look a little more effortless. So at this point I didn't mix any more paint, I just kept using what was left over on my gloves and I just switched back and forth between my black glove and the cream glove just to kind of rub the excess off of the glove and kind of blend it out a little bit more. Guys, I gotta be honest, in the beginning of this, I was so nervous. I was like, I don't wanna mess this up because that was my $16 that I paid and I really appreciate a dollar. So <laughs> I didn't wanna mess it up. But this is definitely one of those trust the process type of DIYs. It is turning out amazing and it's not even dry yet. Um, oh, I just love it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in love and I feel like it really comes super close to that restoration hardware finish from the inspiration picture and I just I have no words. I'm in love. <laughs> So here's the finished product. I think it turned out great. I went ahead and added some fall leaves that I got from Joann's. Um, they were $7.99. I decided to sit it on top of my mantle and oh, it just turned out really great. 
on a side note guys do you know of any like aesthetically pleasing outlet cover because i feel like that just killed my whole vibe but anyway i love this vessel and i think it turned out amazing you guys let me know what you think i'll see you next time bye Thank you.